Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is Dear Designs. Uh, welcome back to another podcast. This is podcast number eight. If you see me looking down here, it's I have my notes. Um, I know last time I didn't have any notes, but I've just jotted a few bits and pieces down that I didn't want to forget, basically, because I'm not on rotation or anything. Um, so, yeah. How is everybody? I hope you're all okay and you're getting prepared for the big C word. No, not COVID. <laughs> Uh, the other big C word that happens in December. <laughs> um, if you do celebrate, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's um, get on. I am doing this a little bit more informal again, just randomly picking bits and pieces up. Um, I haven't got any finished objects or anything, but um, you can find me on Instagram as underscore dear designs underscore i have a website which is dear-designs.co.uk where i sell hand eye jar badges and stitch markers um i have a ravelry as well which is just denise dear and i also have a ravelry group dear designs where you can find some threads in there one of them is ask any questions uh the other one is if you use my yarn in one of your projects at least 50 percent of the project is my yarn you can go in and add um, to that thread and winners will be pulled at the end of the year the other thing that I wanted to um, ask really uh, and maybe mention is that I have been rubbish at Ravelry this year I know a few people um, well not personally but I know there's been a lot of um, struggles with Ravelry and things like that um, but I really would like to do another make along or craft along type thing next year um this year we did use your stash which i've just been absolutely rubbish at the thread is still open if you're interested and you are using stash um there is a lot of other people doing like sock alongs and accessory alongs and things like that um i do want to do something maybe not on such a big sort of year long but maybe three months along or something uh just so i can manage it a little bit better um and i will be on the ball a little bit more <laughs> uh, so if you have any suggestions then leave them in the comment or in the comments down below and i'll have a look at them and maybe um we can come up with something for next year um that's about it uh finished objects i have none um, I have a sort of finish so I'm going to show these first so these are the socks that I'm knitting out of the Neko Boho yarn and I have two finished tubes um, so I've done these um, oh that's wonky I've done these um, with the intention of doing an afterthought heel basically so let me just show you one this is what the yarn looks like it's Nako boho um it was yarn that i got from malta when i got a pack of is there five or ten might have been five i can't remember uh but this is what it looks like and I do have enough to use this for the heels, which I wasn't sure that I was going to, but I have. Uh, because I did start pulling to make them match. Um, the, one of them got really tangled up, and then I managed to untangle it. And then I was pulling to try and make them match, but I would have had to pull lots. So the first one that I did was... Um, this one so this is the first one that I knitted um, the thing that I really love about this yarn is that all of these stripes here are slightly different and I really like that instead of it all being the same like this one's more slanted this one's straight up and down that one's slanted the other way this one's got a little blip in it as well um, that one looks like leaves from far away well from here anyway um, so yeah I would have had to pull it back too far so let me see if I can work this out right okay there there <laughs> um, so yeah that is where it would have matched 
which would have been really really nice but again I thought I would have completely run out of yarn um, and instead they are matching like that so basically they're just alternate of the red and the blue so yeah um, these are a Christmas gift I'm not going to say who they're for uh, I don't think the person watches but still I'm not going to say who they're for um, I just need to put heels in, in them now and then get on with some more <laughs> um, that's sock number one let's show you all the socks um, have I got any other socks here no oh okay um uh, yeah, so the socks that I was keeping in the car. Now I was having, I was having, or I did have this bag here that was living in my glove box um, for emergency knitting um, in my car. But I've decided that the yarn that I had in this bag, I want for a pair of socks, um, and these are going to be gifts as well. So this is the um, Head Over Heels All Stars in the colour splash and this is all I've done and bearing in mind this was living in the car <laughs> um, and I didn't really get any done while it was in the car oh pardon me and basically I thought I really need to get a start on this so this is going to be my next main sock knitting um, as well as the purple yarn that I still haven't um, cast on so the purple and orangey yarn um so i will have two socks on the needles um but i thought i would dig this out of the car and hopefully get some headway on it um and hopefully get them done before christmas we shall see <laughs> uh, but this is just living in this bag here and what i was thinking is digging out another yarn um, putting it in this bag to keep in the car and then putting this in my new knitting bag my new sock bag that I made last week uh, because this is really small this bag so it can sort of and it sort of folds to the shape of the ball of yarn if that makes sense um, so yeah I'm going to swap that out and put um, different yarn in there um okay what else have we got here um the cozy memory blanket i've just got a pile of stuff so i'm just pulling from it <laughs> um my cozy memory blanket i have got one square oh have i got one square was that the square from last week that possibly could be the square from last week so let me take that out <laughs> um I think it was so my cozy memory blanket I have that square there so this square here and I think I showed that last week it was my um, totter down shawl um, there's just loose stitch marks in the bottom and I have this yarn that needs to go in it so that will be done at some point and then obviously once I've done the blue sock I can put that in it as well um, so yeah I'm just gonna be adding to that slowly <laughs> very slowly because I haven't done any this week um, and then the next thing is that you haven't seen for a couple of weeks because I haven't worked on it again it's living in my SCR TNO one project knitting project bag that Sharon kindly gifted me and it's my summer tea by Millie, Millie Designs. Oh, I always get this wrong. And I don't use this pattern because I'm using the pattern on my Knit Companion app. Uh, but I printed this out before I... Oh, I could show you that, couldn't I? Is it a paid for or free pattern? I think it's free. Um, but that is the designer. And here's just some different ways of it being worn. Uh, or well not worn but different ways like you could do like a scrappy one which is sort of what I'm trying to do with my yarn and this is how far I've got I don't want to pull my stitches out there's lots of ends <laughs> um, 
What have I done here? Wow, that's really... Maybe I should be a bit more gentle with it because it's a big bit tied up here. It's um oh there we go. I had managed to get the yarn, the needle in here somehow, like this, but then flip it round. I don't know. So this is what it looks like. It has a high low neck or a um high higher neck at the back <laughs> a short row neck <laughs> anyways this is what it looks like so far really haven't got much done on it um i really like the raglan design it was like a um you sort of yarned over on one of the sets and then you passed that yarn over it was yeah it's it's really nice. Um, you can't really see it on the dark blue at all. Um, but it goes all the way down. And it should go all the way down the sides of the body. I couldn't be bothered to do that. Uh, because I just want round and round knitting. And I think I've only got a couple of more rows to go. Um, and then I can put in my next colour. Um, but this is the, what it's going to... The colours it's going to be. Now if this doesn't fit me. Then Casey said she really likes it. I don't know whether it's going to fit me or not. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, the last time you see it. And I actually worked on it. Was here. So I might just move that. While I'm talking. Because I won't forget then. There we go. And um, yeah. If it doesn't fit me. Then she really likes it. And she said that she would be happy to have it so we'll just have to see what the sizing is actually like um i have got really bad dodgy um joins at the back but i'm hoping that once they're pulled a little bit it won't be so bad i did try doing the slipper couple and carry on knitting um and i didn't really like the way that looked so i'm just hoping that with a little bit of um pulling and stitching up like that now that bottom bit I haven't pulled that top bit just that bottom bit it will look okay I don't know it'd be on the back so you won't really see it unless you're walking behind me or my sister <laughs> um, the yarns that I'm using are Robin uh, DK I have two of these I have two of the light blue and then I have a hundred gram of the grey and that's why I'm only doing the grey in the small stripes so I do want to get on with this I classed November as a finishing month and I wanted to get everything finished um, I don't know whether that's going to happen or not um, but yeah it's just one of those things the reason I wanted to get everything finished was um, I wanted to have a little bit more of a clearer head in December. I have been lucky enough to um, get two ad uh, yarn advents this year. Um, so one of them, I will show the box in a second, but one of them is by a indie dyer and another one is a yarn swap. Uh, that Lay Family Yarn has organised and put people together. Um, I have sent mine off and um, I'm just waiting for mine to be sent. We've, I've been in touch with the lady and she actually used to live um, in the area that I live in, which is so strange. Like from all them people that applied to do a yarn swap, I've done a yarn swap with someone that lives not that far away. She don't live here now, but she is still not that far away. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice. Um, so I want a bit of a clearer head because I do want to do some advent knitting maybe. Um, and if you've got any ideas for advent patterns, then please let me know. Because I don't think, I'm not 100% sure, I don't think the Indie Dye... Um, one that I got comes with a pattern 
I'm not 100% sure I haven't opened the box fully, like properly. Um, and the yarn swap one is obviously, I don't know how the lady's going to package it, whether it's going to be um, gradual, whether it's all going to be random colours. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. So if you've got any ideas for um, advent patterns, then that would be really, really good. Um, I do want to do a hibernation throw um, so that might be an idea for my indie dye one but then I have got my big ball of random that I was thinking of doing that in I don't know <laughs> oh, I've got three blankets sitting here next to me um, one is Ian's blanket and two of them are what I've made previously and we do use them don't get me wrong we do use them and I've got my Cozy Memories blanket on the go. Um, so yeah. Do I need all these blankets? Probably not, but they're all very lovely. Um, anyway, the next thing that I'm going to show you is the Stephen West shawl. So if you do not want to see this shawl, then look away. I will tell you when you can look back. But I'm sure everyone has seen everyone's finished objects by now. And I still haven't finished. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, so here is mine. If you want to look away now. Let me hold it up the right way. Um, so this is what mine is looking like. I have literally just finished the brioche section. And oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I love the actual look of it. So, this is what mine was the dark grey, bluey grey, and the red. So, that's what it looks on one side, and that is what it looks like on the other side. Um, I, if anyone has knitted this shawl or done brioche in the past. Um, I don't know whether Stephen um, explains it in the same way as other people because what I was going to do, I know Mina from the Knitting Expat actually did a video oh, years ago now explaining how to do brioche and I watched it and I was like, oh it's too confusing, I can't, I just can't get it and it's not, it's never been something that interests me um, so I wasn't really keen. But then I thought, well, for this shawl, the videos so far have been so informative. Everyone that I've spoken to have said he explains it in such a way that it's really, really easy. Um, and especially even the bobbles, the way that he explains everything, it's really, really easy. Give it a try. So I did. It's taken me about four days to knit this brioche. <laughs> um, I was on the wedges. And by the time I was finishing the wedges, I was like, I just want this done now. So I used the blue and the green for the wedges, which I think have come out beautiful. Not really, um, well, I, I'm wearing blue again. The last time I said that, I was wearing blue. Uh, but I don't wear blue very often. Uh, but this is really, really lovely. I really like this. And then the way this has come out, I think it, it sort of... Um, evens out like this dark part up here um and especially like because if it was i was thinking because he did say that you can swap the colors around and i think if i had had that it would have been let's hold it this way for a second it would have been too much um because there is a lot of dark up here it needs to balance it so anyway, I have no yarn attached because I've, I've broke the yarn. I need to attach with the yellow now to do the little crisscrosses at the bottom. And then, um, yeah, I can then go on to doing the final clue. So this is clue three, um, and I'm really looking forward to getting the guard stitch along the bottom because then I think it's just going to be easy knitting and I can just pick it up as and when where with this brioche I was trying to get like a whole two rows well I say two rows like across twice before putting it down so I knew where I was um but anyway that is what it looks like so far I can't 
hold it properly because the needles are not long enough and I'm hoping that it will grow um, and I think it will grow there's a lot of stretch in it um, so yeah you can look back now if you was looking away which I doubt anyone <laughs> was looking away because everyone's seen it now and I'm really loving my colours um, they're all hand dyed by myself um, and I dyed the dark grey especially for this um, but yeah I really really enjoying it um, I have this much left of the dark grey and about this much left of the rest of the colours to be honest um, or maybe a little bit more oh the colours are here so I did put actually put it in a project bag in the end that is my oh there's a bit more of that green there's a lot more of the yellow <laughs> but that needs to be attached and then the blue so yeah even though them two together look so different when they're in the wedges it mould together really nicely um let me put that back in there so that's that um Oh, let me put that pattern back. Um, so, the next thing I want to talk about is my rotation. So, if you are new here, normally, well, I say normally, for the last couple of months, I think, I've been doing a five-day project rotation, where that is every day in them five days. So, day one, two, three, four, five. Day one, I work on one specific thing day two I work on something else and then that gets rotated round and round I got the idea from Sharon uh, from the S SCR 1 TNO podcast and I thought it was just a really brilliant idea I really really love it because it doesn't make me feel guilty about working on one thing when I've got another whip sitting there staring at me because I know it's going to get worked on eventually I have not been on that rotation since I've come back from being on holiday and since I've started the Stephen West shawl so I blame him <laughs> I blame Stephen for not being on project um, I do want to get back onto project um, and I know in December it's going to just go out the window again I'm assuming uh, but I'm thinking if I do a smaller advent project like the hibernation throw or something like that then that's just going to be a little bit of my time every day and then if I do have extra time I can work on whatever the day that represents uh, so at the moment day one was my summer tea day two was socks day three was my cozy memory blanket day four was the totter down shawl oh, which was the I'm just trying to think back which was uh, my shawl but now is the this shawl, the Stephen West shawl. And day five, I was knitting on a baby love note, which I have now finished. So I still have four of those things going on. I still have uh, the summer tea. I still have socks always on the go. I have a cozy memory and I have my shawl. So I have a fifth day spare. And I'm going to class that as my Christmas um knitting, crafting, whatever. Um, I might even, if I feel like it, add a sixth day. Just because um, I've got some crochet that I want to get done as well. Um, but to be honest, I want to get the, tea, the summer tea off the needles and I want to get the shawl off the needles. So that will give me two spare days anyway. And then hopefully um, I feel a little bit more relaxed on what I want to do. There was a jumper that I wanted to knit for Christmas. That is not going to happen. I have got the yarn, uh, but that is just not going to happen um, because I don't think I'll have the time. Um, so, yeah. Now, the um, advent that I got, I'm not going to be opening this box until... Um, probably the f the end of November because what I want to do is set up all my advents the day before um so I'm thinking I am going to be doing vlogmas 
and I am thinking of maybe um, vlogging the last day of November where I'm setting up my advents and bits and pieces. I don't really know when we're going to be putting up our Christmas decorations. Uh, what is, because I can do it obviously any day, um, but the 1st of December is a Wednesday. And I think November is still too early for Christmas decorations. So I'm thinking maybe um, the 4th or the 5th I'll put the decorations up. And um, yeah. Because I don't want them up for too long. I don't think. <laughs> the thing with me is that I love my decorations and everything. But the tree gets in the way. Because <laughs> um, we don't have much space in this room. And it's in front of the window. And yeah but uh, it gets in the way of me sitting at my desk and me having to deal with like the printer and bits and pieces so um, I do love my tree but I just don't have anywhere else to put it anyway this is the box that I received from um, a lovely viewer you know who you are um, I didn't ask whether I can mention you but um, if you are watching then leave message me or whatever to say that I can say who uh, gifted me this. Um, I have broke the seal um, and I have literally just opened the tiny bit and see that there was tissue paper and was like right that's got to be from who I'm assuming and it was confirmed. So yeah I am really looking forward to opening this and seeing all the lovely packages um, I just feel very spoilt so thank you so much you know who you are I've thanked you a million times I've also sent you a little package as well so that's that um, I also updated my shop with the yarn that I dyed last week um, the four ply has already sold unfortunately I did put a post on my Instagram uh, but I do have this yarn it's in the shop at the moment and it's in double knit and I thought these would be perfect mitts like DK mitts or even DK socks but doing like um, shorty socks with a roll down cuff or something to keep your ankles nice and warm um, I don't know uh, but yeah there is um, four skeins in the shop so if you are interested in this it's called Christmas lights it reminds me of all the lights different lights at Christmas so you've got like the red the blue the yellow um, there's green in there uh, all different colors basically so yeah that is what it reminded me of so there's more green in they're all this they're all dyed the same but it's just the way that it's been wound up obviously that there um so yeah there is that in the shop i haven't dyed any more yarn or anything um i don't know whether there will be another shop update before christmas um so this might be my only christmas colorway if you are interested um so yeah that's that um over christmas and vlogmas you will see um that my parents are coming to visit for christmas and they're going to be here for three to four weeks which i'm so excited about so i might not get a lot of crafting done when they do finally turn up um but i'm hoping that in the evenings i'll be able to get a few bits and pieces done i don't really have um it probably sounds really bad but i don't mean it like this but i don't really have a family that are um I don't want to say knitworthy, that is all the wrong words. Um, the right word is probably, they're not really into wearing knitwear, basically. Um, so I've knit socks for my mum and dad before, I knit Casey loads of socks and the boys socks. Um, and I think anything I would make would be appreciated. Um, I am going to ma be making them a few things this year anyway. Uh, but on Ian's side, I don't think knitted socks or anything like that would be appreciated very much. Maybe mitts might be like fingerless gloves and that might be appreciated. Um, but it depends on how quickly I can get them knit up. 
I should have started this like months ago <laughs> um, and I did think to myself last year I will make all the adults a pair of mitts or a hat or like a thick headband or something uh, because we don't normally buy for the adults on Ian's side because there's so many children um, so that's what we normally do we just normally um, give the children or buy stuff for the children um, and I'm thinking just a little something for the adults I'm not sure there's a lot of them <laughs> obviously we buy for Ian's mum and dad but um, not his sisters unfortunately just because we buy the children and there's lots of them <laughs> anyway so that's pretty much everything I've got to speak about today um, I don't think there is anything else this week um, I do really want to get the shawl done and I want to get a bit more progress done on the summer tea I know it's not summer anymore but I started it September I think before I went away definitely before I went away um, and I thought I would have had it at least nearly done by now but um, the shawl was taken over but never mind that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes and I have really enjoyed knitting on the shawl so it's not like I haven't enjoyed it I have and I will um, probably not make another one of the shawlographies <laughs> I did say at one stage that because you know where the colour placements are now if you do knit another one you can do a scrappy one so you're not just using five 100 gram balls you're using lots of scrappy yarn um, but I don't think I will knit another one um, we'll see how much wear I get out of it <laughs> and if it comes out like a blanket because I know a few people have said it's like doubled in size once it's been blocked um, I need to find that space <laughs> so hopefully that will be done before the tree goes up and then I can just lay it out on the floor <laughs> um, Anyway, I'm really rambling now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you are knitting or crocheting or cross stitching or paper crafting or whatever you're doing. I hope whatever you're doing, you're enjoying. Um, I am going to get stuff finished this month and get back onto rotation at some point. I don't know when that will be. It might even be once the shawl's done. <laughs> And then I can get back into rotation and put certain things in certain days and see where we go from there. You will find out next week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very soon. Bye.